Amp Studio is the world's first web-based DAW to support VST. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get it set up. Now inside of Amp Studio, you're going to notice if you go down to add devices, a new device called VST Remote. And what's this gonna do is it's going to talk to your machine and see what VSTs you have and host them so that you can use them inside of Amp Studio. So you go ahead and you click this and you'll probably be greeted with a failed to connect because you need a piece of software on your machine to load up the VST. That way that then can talk to Amp Studio. So to do this, simply click on the VST slash remote and it will bring you to a download page and you simply download the one that you want. So you can get the for Windows one or the for Mac one. Now, if that didn't pop up for you, there's a second way to get to this download page. If you click the little menu on the side up here in the corner and then go to getting started, it'll bring up the manual. And from here, you can just search VST and you will find it right here. And the download installer will be underneath installing AMP to VST remote. So you can click this as well and download which one you need. So I run a Windows machine, so I'm gonna download the for Windows and then you open up the executable. It's probably going to pop up something, some sort of a warning. Simply click more info and then click run anyway. Uh, give it permission, hit yes. And then in here, you just go ahead and let it do its thing. Default path, just hit install. And it's all done. It's a very quick process. And this will allow Amp Studio to see the VSTs you have on your machine and load them. So now that I've set that up, I can actually hit try again. And it's going to ask to open that piece of software we just installed. We say yes, and it is now loaded up. And we have a list of plugins that it sees. Now, if you don't see some plugins here that you know you have, if you go into the menu right here and then go to settings, there is a custom search path for VST plugins. So you can add uh, that additional folder if it didn't find it automatically for you. And then you just hit apply and then they'll pop up there. Now, because it is in the beta phase, there are two main limitations currently. And that is you can only have one VST open at a time. So if you have one open, that's the most for the time being. And there is no support for automation yet. And these are things that are just a product of developing a new technology. So let's go ahead and load a plugin up. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna load up Massive, which is right here, Massive. So if it doesn't pop up automatically when you select your VST, you may need to just click Edit and it should pop up. And if it still doesn't pop up, come down and check your taskbar. There's probably a window there and that is the Amped VST Remote. And this can happen if you click and it goes away. It's, it's still down there. And because you never closed it, clicking edit won't bring it back up. You have to come down and look for the window. Uh, so just be aware of that in case you're wondering, where did the window go? So now that we have this set up, it can take in MIDI because this is a, a synthesizer. So synthesizers take in MIDI messages. These are our note commands when you push notes on your MIDI keyboard and it turns them into audio. So for example, I have a MIDI keyboard here in front of me and if I play some notes, I can use my MIDI keyboard to trigger the synthesizer. We can also use the library's provided MIDI phrases. So if you actually come over to the sound library, there are construction kits. And inside of these kits, you have MIDI construction kits and you have audio. So these, these are audio, they are the sound on their own. So for example, if I pull this out, load it onto a new track. So we could see the audio here and if we wanna play back, so this is audio, but MIDI doesn't work like this. MIDI is instructions to a synthesizer to play notes. So for example, if I take this top one, which is, this has the MIDI notes icon, and we drop that on, since it's it's just instructions, if we open it up here, these are, you know, when to play the notes and for how long, we send that to a synthesizer. So in this case, I've got it on track one. Let me go ahead and get rid of the Volt Mini here. So all that's on here is massive. And when we play now, we hit play. So that is the difference between audio and MIDI is that MIDI requires a synthesizer to make sounds, but audio does not. It's just simply a recording of sound and 
Amp Studios playing it back. So here I have a small project in which I have a synthesizer uh, that I would like to experiment with and see if a VST I have can fill the part of the synthesizer or perhaps even add a layer. So let's give this a quick listen. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple elements, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the MIDI, which again, they're just instructions. So I'm going to take these uh, instructions, the MIDI, and move it to a new track. Now on this new track, I'm going to add a VST remote, and I'm going to move it before the reverb. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want the sound coming from the VST remote to go through the reverb, and reverb will essentially add space to our sound. So I'm going to go ahead and select a plugin. I'm going to choose Massive. So let's come in here. We're going to select ourselves Massive. Give it a second to load up. All right, so in Massive, I'm now going to go ahead and look for a sound that I think would be a good fit for the track. All right, so I settled on this sound. It's called Far Away. And let me just go ahead and play it for you. In fact, we could even layer it with our previous synth. All we need to do is send them the same MIDI. That's just one example of the endless amounts of uses for VSTs. If you have any questions about this, be sure to let us know in the comments, especially what you think about the VST host and what you would like to see going forward. We're very open to suggestions. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.